Nine pounder. Broke me off. Why? Why? Talking to God, what the hell do you say with a knife in your back? But they beg you to stay. I got premium facts. Premium tech. Second semi final of 2024. Bassmaster Elite. A legendary late four. Oh my gosh. Set the hook. Don't dive in a blue pit. Close minds get fooled quick. Close eye, you can feel it. He ain't set a record. Let me remind you, this is pretty good at you. They'll do anything to damn play that side of you. I'm so connected to me. Vision so clear. Got to wear shades just to see what you see, man. This is bad. Yes. That's the bite we needed. Not for the weight or the scorecard. That's the bite I needed for my heart. Be wearing wool gloves in Texas. Say that's not a good sign. Wool gloves in Texas is rough. Keep my hands warm though. It's day one here at Lake Fork. Just cooking up a little legs, so we got lots of power. Reeling in big gigantic bass. A little nervous about it, not gonna lie. We had a wind direction switch yesterday. Blew real hard out of the north, and now it is blowing out of the east. And the two areas that I have to fish are both east facing. Like our good friend Chris Stapleton says, can't win afraid of losing. Can't win if you're afraid of losing. That's a fact. I know that's fact because I catch myself every once in a while being afraid of losing. Maybe not even afraid of losing, but just like, you know, don't miss the cut or doesn't always have to be first. No bueno. No bueno. Sir Jack Dallas shops and knowledge on us. Day one yeah. knowledge. Well, for those who don't know, no bueno means no good. It's a little Spanish uh, tip of the day. And I don't know what to say. I'm just happy to be here. I feel like, uh, you know, I don't want to say that I'm a good luck charm, but every time I have been here, finishes have been really good. So we're going to try to go ahead and quad peat, whatever that means. Quad peat? Yeah, it's like three peat, but one more. I'm talking about a dynasty here. That's what I'm talking about. Am I am I the like Derek Fisher to like the, the Kobe or the, the Kobe, the Shaq, and then am I Derek Fisher? Check on your annual review, we'll see how that I mean, I can't I'm not the one to judge that, right? I am definitely gonna be the last in the truck today. Conditions in practice in the eighties. Uh, I think it's in the 30s this morning or low 40s. Everyone's bundled up. We got a little drizzly rain happening. So it's gonna be a game of adjustments today. Update from the ramp. It's cold. It's very cold. As usual, I'm slightly underprepared. It's raining and it's windy. Perfect fishing conditions, I've been told. I agree with what he said. He is slightly unprepared. Maybe a little above slightly, slightly plus. I've caught an 11 pounder on that Edo shiner right there. Yes. Hi, right, bud. Best of luck. Maybe, maybe I'll give Kyle the video and he can put a little video in there so you guys can see. Oh, you got it. on video. 24 too. Bassmaster Elite Series and Legendary Lake Fork. I think this is where the bass fishing knowledge starts to come into play. Even if you have the knowledge, doesn't mean you always can make the right decision. When you get crazy, you know, temperature swings and weather swings, you gotta make the right decisions on game day of how those fish are adjusting and changing. Uh, some will change, some won't. Some are gonna be up there on the bank, they're gonna be locked on beds and they're just gonna tough it out. Uh, you know, they're, they're kind of the opposite of Kyle. They just kind of tough it out. And so. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's gonna be an interesting one. Yeah, we're gonna have to call uh, Audible. There's a, already a local boat sitting right where I wanted to start. Now I'm torn if like get back there where they are or go go this way since there's none of our guys to make the right decisions. So cool. 
Oh, oh no! Freaking big one. Oh, she oh, bit it right when I did. He's creeping on it. He's creeping on it. Got him. Get him out of that pile. Big one too. You've got to be kidding me. What is the deal this year? <laughs> got one coming. Got her. Warm right up. Made it. Wish I had an explanation. We we're being tested. I haven't caught one on drop shot yet, but it's gonna happen today. Chasing my drop shot up, he's going back down. Come on. I did it. It's a big one. Yes. Yes. There's so many of them that size in here. I'm sure those other ones I lost were at least that big. Uh, two? It definitely pushed off the, the shallow stuff. Stay where you're at. Try to keep the Dallas specials to a minimum. I didn't expect to get a lot of bites, but I also didn't expect to lose a lot of bites. Got me in a little bit of a tither. Get it like a big one. Sorry, Kyle. Hmm. Maybe I'll stay around just a little longer. She wasn't alone either. Six two. She's a beaut, mate. I never threw a drop shot all practice. I just said, you know what? OBP better have that deception room rigged up. Oh my gosh. When I set the hook, it just stopped. And just about now is when our mics cut out. Unfortunate timing, but this is what Brandon would have said if his mic was working. Wow, all this bass fishing makes me want to play rock, paper, scissors. Now let's weigh this thing, see if it weighs more than Vanny Hammer's bass. Nope, better try again. Blah, 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 blah. Something about bass fishing, blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's turn the mics back on. There's big ones right here. Don't make me regret turning the mics back on. There's big ones right here. It's a big old bass. It is a big old bass. Tiny little hooks and tiny little rod and tiny little bait. She got one hook. Come here, come here, come here, come here. No, 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 no. Barely hooked. Yes. Dude, they're all big ones. They're all five pluses in here. Could have a mega sack. We would have caught those first three that bit. Wait a minute, Mona Lisa, you're beautiful. Got her. What do I got here? Oh, Sakale. It's about time you showed up. We're gonna go down the lake just a bit. No way. Oh no. She got me hung in this part of this tree. Stay on there. Oh my God. Broke me off. Nine pounder. Why? Please, please do explain to me why. It's just not meant to happen anymore right now, Kyle. Literally the bass I came in here to catch. Stuck in one little tiny piece of brush and it just boop, got stuck in there and broke off. Just an absolute behemoth. Don't even know what to say, bud. Don't even know what to say right now. I guess move on. In the mouth. He's not even a three pounder, I don't think. But considering the fact we only have four bass in there, he'll go a long ways. Thanks, buddy.
Good thing I just started it a little bit ago. Okay, let's get out of here. Yeah, not bad. 20 pounds is 68. So wild. We had a good day on paper. Weighed 26.2. Has us in 24th place. I should be excited about 26 pounds. But the competitor in me just doesn't allow it when there are missed opportunities. So tomorrow, we make up for those missed opportunities. The swim jig with the Mega Swammer is a very fun thing. I have to admit, I missed a few of those. I know you did. They were later in the day, I was charging a mic. Whatever your excuse is. It isn't a good excuse. How on earth? I used my spare key. That was for emergencies. Good night. Oh, the creepy man with a camera in your room. <laughs> <laughs> the creepy man. <laughs> it's day two. We're getting coffee. Tiff, what do you guys say? I'm tired. I froze my butt off last night. The heat went out. I got up a couple times last night. Oh, no, shoot. Why can't it be worse, smarter, and harder? Saying sets of the camera. Yeah, yeah, he is, as a videographer, all you young videographers that are aspiring to be. <laughs> Dallas says, oh boy, because he knows some great knowledge is about to be dropped. As a video guy, I've seen a lot of young guys come on tour. I'm essentially the Rick Clun of camera guys at the moment. And my advice to you younger kids is to do less work. You're setting the bar way too high, and that's making me look terrible. So, work a little less. We can all do this together, boys. The fact that I didn't drive, I didn't idle over any spots yesterday. So good. I did park close to a bed fish, which, you know, which understandably so. There's only a nine pounder. I know. Our camera boat slash cameraman combination at Fork is tough to beat. It might be all-star-esque. Definitely better than the guy at Smith Lake, that's for sure. I'm trying to give you guys the goods of our how I'm breaking down places. It's my deep dive home screen. We have water level. When it's red, that means that it's dropping. But you can see it spiked up Wednesday, went up full pool. And then it's kind of just hovered around a quarter foot below full pool. That plus the cold weather, not a lot of fish wanting to pull up. The other big thing, we've had 360 degrees of wind this week, and that has changed a lot. So I've been using the wind effects to be able to see. Now we look at tomorrow, clearly the wind is gonna be blowing out of the south because we got a lot of red happening. We can scroll through morning pretty calm and then the afternoon we're getting pretty heavy south wind so why that matters fish starting to spawn pulling up obviously you're not going to be able to see them in those places the pockets that are getting super wind blown so i'm looking for little places that are protected covered a little bit sneaky and then the other one has been again the water clarity um you know just little things that you wouldn't pick up on where because of the heavy wind right this section of the lake has gotten dirty because we had a lot of heavy south wind and then you look up here well we haven't had a lot of rain so this creek is actually pushing clean water out and it's cleaner in the back than the front those types of things have came into play this week today is no different because guess what the wind switched from the north Wednesday, the east yesterday, 
to the south today. All right, ladies and gents, I'm not last because Kira is gonna be last. Finally, someone I can beat. I'm gonna help out. Come on. Some the weights yesterday were insane. And 30 pounds didn't even get you in the top 10. 30 pounds, you might not even make a cut. Well, fishing for one, and then all of a sudden seeing a bait land on your screen right on top of it. Someone else captain at the same one that you're fishing for. That was the first for me. This ought to be interesting. This is the first. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. I'm gonna have to baby this thing. Oh, it's got one back hook in the back. I got her. <laughs> How wild is that? Six, four, six pounds, four ounce. Not a bad way to start, huh? Things thick and healthy. Oh, drop shot trick you. You're going my little friend. Three pounds. Losing my drag. And I cannot stop gonna keep on going to yeah. the bottom. It's not a pen, but it's a big. You just tell it was a big one. 41 total. Every, every bubble boy. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And then all of a sudden they'll just be like little groups of them. Got one of them. Stay on it. Not a giant base, right? We're going to four. We need him more. Four, three pounds, 11 out. Not even four pounds. Yeah, my gosh. I think it's a big one. Yep. Oh, she's just got back hook. Not as big as I thought it was gonna be. That should get us 10 grand, I would think. 10 grand and some cut ice cream. Oh. They're around. It's hard to leave when you just like keep picking off a four pounder, five pounder. Let me catch this big one real quick. About ripped the rod out of my hand. <laughs> he might not call. I don't think he did help. I just had to start eating a burrito. That's is delicious. Must be lucky I started catching them after I started eating it. Going down like he was going to eat it. I think it's pretty big. It was. It was. Kidding me. It's hard to leave because it's like they just keep swimming in. I would really like to get one more big bite to make sure I made the cut because I think everybody's gonna just crush them or more. And I've got less than what I had yesterday. So I don't feel great about, about it. Well, I'm actually a little bit nervous about making the cut. That was fun. We're gonna make the cut. But I would really prefer to like catch them a lot better. It's just hard to come in with 24 pounds and you're like, oh, I dropped. I'm not even doing the right thing to go catch 30. I mean, I could catch 30, but. He's a two-time progressive bass match graduate here at six-time bass match for winner from Rats from Idaho, the prodigy Brandon Polonick. <laughs> 24 pounds and four ounces today gives him 50 pounds and six ounces. And as ridiculous as it sounds, that puts you in 13th place. We may set a record for century belts here this week. It, it, we were talking about that backstage, and it was funny. We were scrolling through Bass Track saying, OK, who's the last guy on pace to break a century belt for four days? And it was me. We get ice cream. This is a huge moment. This is the first cut ice cream of the year, which is a big deal. Are you 
<laughs> yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Small Butterfinger with extra Butterfinger. Can't go wrong. All the all the flavors in one. Oreo, Snickers, Reese's, brownie cookie dough, and Butterfinger. That actually sounds really good. That's what I'm saying. Can we name it? The Vandy Hammer. The Vandy Hammer. The Vandy Hammer. That's the Vandy Hammer. The Vandy Hammer. Yeah. $28 with Kyle's. I got you. I'm not. I got you. What about the red diamond? First ice cream cut of the year. So, I woke up this morning and normally the coffee is brewing, and this morning it wasn't. It was just kind of counting up in time. This is what a coffee maker's doing. And now I have trust issues with this coffee maker. This little guy has brought a lot of joy to this camper. You're a good boy. You got another weekend, yeah. I was going to say we needed to restart today, maybe have a truce or something after yesterday, Kyle. Sorry I yelled at you guys. Snapped a little. I was under high pressure. Yesterday, Brandon was fishing a little channel, and he said, stay in the middle. The middle in this channel, it, to me, is a little arbitrary because it could be, it could be anywhere. I could diagram this out if you guys want me to. <laughs> Brandon looked back, and he's like, Kyle, thought I told you to stay in the middle, but he scolded me like my dad would when I was six. Technically, he scolded Dallas. He did say Dallas, he did. but it was personal to all of us. Very sternly. <laughs> We're good now. Everything was- We hugged good. out yeah. and said yeah. sorry to all of us. Well, I learned that it wasn't actually Dallas's fault. Oh, wow. Dallas was just following Kyle's orders. So then I revoked Kyle's decision-making capabilities and gave Dallas executive order. Yeah, what the hell is this? <laughs> he did, actually. I do have that on. Sitting in 28th place, we're on pace to get a century belt, but we're gonna have to catch 33, 34 pounds or something today to make the cut, probably. We're gonna have to have over 30 to have a shot at moving into the top 10. And we made it to day three. Fish are starting to move. I saw some things on the big baits yesterday that I like to see. Uh, they're starting to get a little frisky, so pulled out a bunch of the 300s, and we're gonna go to work today. At least that's the plan. Some great big ones swimming around. They're just being funky. Got it. He's not little. Welcome to the party, bud. Okay. Not bad, huh? Not exactly how I wanted to catch it, but just 5-3 to kick off the morning. Alrighty, that was fun. Nobody wins afraid of losing, Kyle. I got it. Oh my gosh, did you see that thing? Oh my, that is a giant. That's why we were chasing it. Oh. Holy cow, stay on that. Stay on that. Yes! Yes! That rule I got about if you'll bring things twice about going somewhere, you stop and you go. That's why. Because there is something in your brain saying, get there. 715, almost an eight pounder. What a beaut. That was cool. Not crazy, I like, haven't been in here all week. I've fished in here in the past and we're driving by and just something in my brain. I, I looked at it, I thought, nah, let's just go over there, be smart. And I looked again and thought about it and said, CP, you got the rule. If you think twice, you gotta go. All my stuff's getting beat on now. Maybe I should've started in here again. Been staring at them forever. I got you. I got you. We're one. Yeah, I could hear you talking. I knew you didn't get that one. So hard to know what, what the right call is because there's so many swimming around in here right now. Uh, I'm thinking I need to make a move. Although there's lots and lots of bass around right now, there's not lots and lots of feeding bass right now. We need lots and lots of feeding bass.
Gosh, that bite is fun. I wish it would stay good. Hope you got it, Kyle. Yes! I might have caught that same fish right there in practice. Six, seven. That's a healthy one. That's the bite we needed. Not, not for the weight or the scorecard. That's the bite I needed for my heart. That was heavenly. He said 27 ones what we got. It's more than we've had all week. I feel like I just struggled my way into it. Like I just had to scratch and claw the whole time, every single day, and then get, I will finish probably like 23rd or something, 24th. Just like you just scratch and claw, scratch and claw, and, and catch, I caught over 25 pounds every day. Finish in the top quarter of the field. Making elk burgers tonight. Simple, easy, just winding down from the week. Kind of hanging out and playing with the kids and making burgers and asparagus and maybe even a game of Catan tonight. It's been a while. Uh, here sits me and Carl, waiting on Kyle. We're supposed to be on live at eight o'clock. You're not waiting on Kyle, there's no way. You not be late. You would never be late. He's 100% late. Here he comes. He's gonna come just in, in shambles. <laughs> Get in the just truck, Kyle. Come on, Kyle. Let me do that thing, that's my job. So me and Carl were sitting there just waiting on him. That'll be ready in two seconds, which turns into about 10 minutes of him. Whatever tomfoolery he gets into. What are you doing we got back Bass there? Live. <laughs> <laughs> now we got Bass Let's Live. Bass Live this morning. We're working on a little Yeti project. Uh, I did a little story on Taku that's gonna come out. It's super cool. So we're kind of helping facilitate that a little bit, doing some interviews this morning. So, uh, me and Brandon didn't film an outro for Lake Fork. We totally spaced it. So it's my job at the moment. If you guys want to watch more, if you guys want tourney tees, which are right here, or if you guys want to subscribe, that would be awesome. Uh, every little bit of that helps our channel. And I just want to say thank you because everyone who has been along on this ride with us for seven years, uh, it's been a blast and you make it so worth it to us by watching this. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, yeah. This is just a video guy saying thank you very much and uh, we appreciate you guys. Okay,